Covering news where you live. This is 5 News at 5. Good evening. We start this hour talking about an asthma medication shortage. Local pharmacists say they're experiencing a massive shortage in a widely used drug called albuterol, and a recent pharmaceutical closure could make that drug even more scarce across the nation. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza is here now to explain how this, is, how this treatment is more complicated and where we stand with this and how this is going to have an impact on some people. Yeah, so far, Darren, it's making pharmacists suggest other treatments. That's how impactful it is already here in the natural state. The, the pharmaceutical company Acorn was one of few in the country producing the liquid albuterol. With its sudden closure, pulmonologists are concerned for hospitals in emergency situations. According to the Associated Press, pharmaceutical company Acorn closed all of its facilities in the U.S. The company made a liquid albuterol used in continuous nebulizers. Already on the FDA's drug shortage list, it creates concern as Acorn was one of only two fully operational manufacturers in the U.S. Medical Arts Pharmacy in Fayetteville says they've been experiencing the shortage here in the natural state. We've had sort of sporadic um, availability of the albuterol that's for nebulizers, um, but um, in recent, I think the last probably couple of weeks especially, um, it's become almost completely unavailable. The Mayo Clinic describes the drug as an adrenergic bronchodilator which opens air passages in the lung. Stewart says there are alternatives to the medicine, such as inhalers or level butyrol, but the drug is widely used in children's hospitals. I think when patients have an emergency and they require quick assistance, uh, we rely on those nebulized forms of albuterol in order to give quick relief. And I think that uh, hospitals typically will try and stock as much as they can uh, for every pop population of patients that they'll see. The other manufacturer, Nephron, remains operational, but the FDA lists them in a shortage. When there's a huge demand, that's going to be hard for them to keep up with. And there have been issues with not only the medication, but you think about all the packaging, the, the little plastic um, ampules that they go in. I mean, all of those things can um, create supply issues. In the meanwhile, Dr. Robinson says the FDA should look at other countries to supply albuterol and that patients use other inhalants. That I would tell my patients are the things that every clinician that works uh, in asthma should remind, which is that uh, if you still have a puffer, an albuterol puffer, uh, typically we would like you to continue to try and, and utilize your rescue inhale puffer therapies, uh, especially with a spacer. According to CBS, the FDA is now assessing how the acorn closures may affect drug supply chains nationwide and that another pharmaceutical supplier is gearing up to build a second supply. Covering news where we live, Jose Carranza, 5 News.